I'm going to give you a couple of fast tips that you can use today. So if there's a girl that you've wanted to speak to, you'll be able to use these tips with her later on. The single most important tip in flirting and speaking with women in having sex in doing anything with women in doing anything with guys, the secret hack for doing anything in life is to make sure that you're actually breathing. When was the last time that you took like a manual breath that you actually felt in your stomach? Can you breathe so deeply that your balls literally fucking move? Or are you breathing like a bitch holding in trauma from childhood and you're like, you, you've constrained your stomach because you don't want daddy to, to know that you're taking up space. And so you've made yourself smaller because of like the, the shit that happened 10 years ago. People don't realize, men especially, a lot of our power comes from our body. You know, the guy who you see who seamlessly gets girls, the reason why he seems so attractive, we all, you know, little nerds think it's like, oh, because because he's got this eyelid shape, because he's got nice hair, because he's got wrist, because he could do the fucking little TikTok dance, whatever fucking bullshit. I promise you, the reason why some guys seem like naturals, but they can just like say something kind of cool to a girl is simply because they are relaxed. They're relaxed. You're not. The times that you spoke to a girl and it hasn't went well, it's because you've constrained your own body and that's where your source of power and presence comes from. Try and like keep that as just a little tip for the rest of today. Whether you're speaking to family, whether you're speaking to some male friends or you're speaking to girls, notice that when you like are doing something which is a little bit more difficult and uncomfortable than usual, your breath will just stop. You'll be like taking these micro breaths especially you will not be breathing fully down to your stomach and that's like the most important part. I can give you a 100% guarantee that the girl that you speak to when you're manually, like literally manually breathing all the way down to your stomach and up to the point that your stomach kind of presses out, you know, like you're almost like, like almost like you feel fat in a way that your stomach's pressing out. I guarantee she will like you so much more when that is happening compared to you like tensing your abs and you know unconsciously kind of like constraining yourself like we like some gym guys tense their abs on purpose because they think it makes them look leaner and stuff but subconsciously you've got to think that is a sign of like nervousness and it's not like any woman is looking at you in the eyes and she's thinking to himself yeah oh yeah what a bitch you know he's he's got his stomach like tensed he's not breathing but certainly these are things that we pick up on you know how like you like pick someone like maybe from like your class or something pick someone a guy who just feels like awkward and low status guarantee it guarantee that he feels awkward in his body doesn't he guarantee that he's like afk in his own body that he sits a lot he plays a lot of video games and when he talks to you for example it's like he's maybe not holding eye contact his whole body is shaped away from you that's like someone we're deeming as like very low in like the status hierarchy, very awkward, right? Here's you. A lot of our confidence comes from our, specifically our own body confidence. So tip number one that you can use literally today, right now, breathe fully, breathe from your nose. Let your stomach relax completely and let it go towards your belly button and feel your belly button push outwards as you breathe and then in. You can speak to a woman whilst you breathe like this. And this is, I promise you, the single greatest tip. I'm so surprised that more like, you know, pickup artists, dating guys don't ever speak about like just the importance of breathing. But when you go and speak to a girl today, if you just remember to breathe fully, you will do so much better in that conversation. Another tip when it comes to like flirting with girls, you already know it, eye contact. It's so easy. Sometimes like you see how naturally I'm breaking the eye contact of the last 20 seconds of this video. Now it's so easy to like look at ways you talk and maybe, you know, she asks you a question and, and you you kind of like, you know, you think about it and you say like, oh, well, you know, there's this thing, this thing. That reduces some of the attraction that you can build up with a girl. And you've heard the importance of eye contact so much because it is actually like a, a, like a pure fundamental attraction builder. So the way that I like to improve like my eye contact with girls and even guys, you just manually think about it. So imagine that, you know, those moments when you're like AFK, those moments when you're not very present or you're thinking about eye contact or body language. Let's say that's your default state right now. That's not really your default state, but that's like your worst state where you're not present 
into deep in your mind, right? And your ability to hold eye contact is usually like abysmal during that, you know, like maybe you're like AFK looking around the room, you're like looking at the pretty girl, she looks towards you and you look away and stuff. You look like a bitch when that happens, right? When you're looking towards a girl, she looks at you and you look away. You look like a, like a grade A bitch when that happens. And we don't want that to happen because the best case scenario is like, you know, you're looking around the room, you're just having a good time. You're looking towards a girl because she's pretty. She looks over. And you just keep looking at her and you just smile and she smiles and she looks away. Holy fuck, bro. That, like, that is just is such a small thing. But that is where, like, the initial stage of attraction is built up. A lot of guys think it's about their style. A lot of guys think it's about, like, their haircut or anything like that. R you want to know primal attraction? It's, it's based on power. It's not about your, your cute little hairstyle, even as a young guy who, you know, if like there's TikTok boys or something around you, that's what the real world seems. Okay, that's like what's attractive. That's only like literally 5% of the game. The biggest part of attraction is literally just the power imbalance between man and woman, especially when it comes to like the physical realm, because that's obviously why like a woman wants a man subconsciously. Many women won't be able to ever admit this because obviously like in the modern day, they don't need like a strong physical man who could protect them from danger because everything's safe in the modern day. But this is like a primal evolutionary uh, like mechanism inside of us that women will automatically want the guy who is more powerful than they are. Otherwise, it's almost useless to be with him. And one way that you show this power imbalance is that you're able to look into her eyes longer than she is and then she looks away. You don't want to do this. Like, like for example, a lot of like cultures, like let's say Indian guys, a lot of them fuck up with this because they've just like in their culture, it's kind of like nor more normal not to smile and to just kind of like stare at someone. And that's like not even seen as rude there. Then when like Indian guys go over to like other countries, they're often struggling heavily with girls. And you might have this, you might know like some, some of the guys who just almost like intimidate girls, but not in a good way. So there's a way to like hold eye contact without actually making her feel get bad by actually making her feel awesome. And it is with a smile. So it's like if we role play right now, which is a bit cringe. So it's like, you know, it's a bit awkward but like let's just do okay imagine you're a girl right so if i'm like looking around the room and i'm having a good time i'm just thinking about something or i'm like you know feeling presence and i'm breathing in and i end up looking at you because you're like a pretty little girl and you look over it's as simple as this look that's it small sm little tiny smile and i'll stare into her eye like usually you just pick one just stare into it and i promise you right now you know what i might seem like some confident guy oh he's got muscles he's got a business i bro i'm telling you right now bro it's like i'm feeling a little bit tense as well so i'm like i'm hoping she looks away within a second or two so when you do this and it feels a little bit like you know a little bit awkward and comfortable and you want to make your eyes look away trust me like i feel the same thing but it's just about manually keeping your eye on her and it's like the moment that we hold eye contact you smile just a little bit it doesn't have to be like a whole little goofy like it doesn't have to be anything like like low T soy boy kind of. <laughs> but it's, it's just a small one of just like a small, small smile. Stay looking into her eyes. Guarantee what will happen is she'll smile backwards and she'll go like that. You've just checked the box of like the first stage of attraction. Now, after this, you could go and fuck it up like you usually do. But at least you've like, <laughs> at least you've done like the, the first part, which is obviously progress. Many young guys don't know this. And so this is why so many young guys are like struggling in this like game of, of flirting, of riz, of, you know, speaking for the girl they're into. Never mind also the fear that comes along with this topic, because it, it's very interesting, isn't it? The fear that is involved when it comes to like flirting with a girl, you know, looking at her, smiling at her. Cause have you felt any, have you had any random thoughts during this video of like, oh no, this wouldn't work because of this. I wouldn't risk it because of this. Because there is quite a culture online of guys who are quite scared of women, even though they won't say it like that. Because of the potential consequences that could arise with you showing some attraction. Do you feel that like, essentially, do you feel some level of fear that if you kind of, you know, look this girl in the eyes and you smile at her, that maybe she might feel uncomfortable enough to kind of like, you know, tell people about you or you've seen those videos online that have went viral with like the girls recording herself in the gym and some guy looks over and she starts like shouting at him or something. A lot of young men are like, are instilling fear into their own mind. And then this isn't serving you at all because when it, when it comes to these, like, you know, having these awesome relationships, when you're a fearful man, you're showing this power imbalance with you on the bottom side. 
there needs to like you know all all these like little soft motherfuckers will will hear me say power imbalance and say oh well you think you're better than the girl whatever it's like but realistically there's always going to be some kind of like power imbalance in every like me and you me and anyone right there's always going to be something in general for sexual attraction to be built the man needs to be like on top he needs to be more powerful at least like in the physical realm when it comes to other traits sure the feminine can can uh, surpass him but when it comes to this initial attraction the man needs to display this power and balance in his side that he is essentially stronger and 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 um fearless compared to her this is just primal attraction one-on-one but in the modern day we've put so much fear in the minds and hearts of young men that they should be careful speaking to women that they shouldn't sexualize them that they shouldn't send dms that you know if you send like a, a message to a girl do you have the fear that she might screenshot it and like send it to her group chat and like loads of them now know about it? You know that's that almost seems like an insecure um, fear. Like like you know some some it's only like you know it's seventeen year old guys who are scared of sending a DM to girls and you know the girl might screenshot it. Guess what? Millionaires, chads, celebrities are scared of that. Think about this. Full on, like disciplined millionaire guys, high testosterone fighters, entrepreneurs, winners, celebrities, Drake rappers, all these guys, they're literally fearful of even just sending a message to a woman because they know what will happen because they know that woman may screenshot it and then kind of expose them and, you know, send it to the group chat. It's not like a good image and everything. So you're seeing even the, the top men who have this fear. So if you think you're fearless, bro, maybe you're just like not you're not um, aware of the fear that's going on inside of you because these high testosterone, high like ambitious men are also fearful. Most men these days are fearful of just showing some kind of attraction to women because a woman could take it wrong. And yet it is the fearless men who end up getting the woman that they, they want, especially if you don't have that sort of, you know, the leverage of like being a celebrity. So for example, Drake has like, I'm assuming some level of fear of like, you know, just sending a DM to a girl he likes because he knows for a fact she'll screenshot it, post it on a story like a retard or something. Thing. but what you might be able to do is he like he's got the leverage for so you know he's got like a team of guys who will send out dms for him for example and that makes it kind of easy for him but you don't have that you don't have that leverage you don't have like some concierge who's sending out dms in your behalf do you which means that you're gonna have to get over this fear you're gonna have to feel this fear but have the courage to go and speak to the girl anyway so just for today I've gave you two tips already. One is to breathe fully and the second is to hold the eye contact and to smile. And the third one is that you must understand that there will be fear involved. This is just a mindset I want you to have, right? Most guys will only go and speak to the woman and flirt and try and, you know, see if you're compatible with each other if there's no fear involved, if he feels totally relaxed. But most of the opportunities that you have to speak to a woman, you will feel fear. So it's not about not being like not feeling this fear of, you know, this sort of like nervousness to speak to her. It's not about not feeling that. It's specifically about feeling that feeling, but doing the action anyway. So when you next time, like, you know, you get the idea, you want to go approach this girl, you want to send her a message or there's a girl like in your, in your class or your workplace or, or um, I don't know, at the, at the club, at the, the co-working space, whatever it is, and you want to go speak to her, you will start to be filled with fear. Don't think that, oh, because I feel this fear, I shouldn't do it. Think to yourself, this is an emotion. It's a feeling inside of me, and I can just go and do it anyway. And if you do it whilst thinking about manually breathing down to your stomach, the fear will disappear as soon as you say the first word to her. So it's almost like a game that I like to play with myself when I was single, that when I wanted to go and cold approach a girl, I always used to think to myself, you know what? I don't have to have an awesome conversation with her. I don't have to get her number. I don't have to like, you know, like uh, come across well or anything like that. 90% of the game when it comes to, you know, speaking to women like in real life is just saying the first one word that comes out of your mouth. Because for 90% of the women that you look around to or 99.9% .9 of the women that you've ever laid your eyes on that you're attracted to, you didn't actually say one word to them, right? So if you say one croaky word, one insecure word, one word with a fucking like, like um, voice, what's that, voice pitch, um, 
what's that thing called? A voice crack or whatever, creak, or you know when like a guy speaks and his voice accidentally goes like high pitch? Even if you did that, that would be progress against you not speaking to her at all, right? Because we, we looked at what, in person, a thousand, 10,000, 100,000 attractive women, but we've how many of them did we actually speak to and flirt to it? How many of them did we say even one word to? Maybe like a hundred, maybe less. So this is the biggest constraint right now. It's just, we're not saying literally just the first word. It can just be high. You could literally just walk past an attractive girl on the street. She's just minding her own business. And you just kind of say like, hi. And she, she, she might even ignore you, but that's fucking huge progress for you. Because if you were able to say hi to every girl that you were attracted to, that you wanted to just see if you were compatible with, if that's all you changed, you just said hi, literally that one word, you would never have problems with dating ever again. You would never have problems with like finding a woman. Think about how interesting that is. If you just said hi to every like attractive woman that you know you thought that there was something that you wanted to get to know about her because you wanted to, you know, you thought maybe you'd get in a relationship, whatever it is. If you just said the first word, just because of the sheer fact of like the volume. And then obviously like 99% of the women might not even stop for you. They might not listen. They might say hi, but keep walking, that's fine. But if only 1% of the, the women that you literally just say hi to, you get into like a somewhat decent conversation and you remember the other tips of, you know, holding the eye contact and breathing, you would have like such an abundance of options that you would be able to pick out the kind of woman that you really, really wanted to level things up with. Full breath, eye contact, saying the first word. Just make this your intention for today as you go by and it's like, you know, you want to level up your day in life. You want to become more masculine and just use these three tips today. And I really hope that it serves you well. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah. You might think that becoming a man who's worthy of a 10 out of 10 girl needs to have it all, looks, money, and status. Or maybe you think it's impossible for you to attract a beautiful girlfriend because of how hard today's dating culture is. But what if I told you that the way to truly attract a woman with deep chemistry is actually easier than you think. By avoiding the mistakes that turns girls off and by doing more of the good habits that turns girls on, you can get significantly more interest from regular women in just a few weeks. If you want the cheat codes to do this for yourself, scroll down to the description of this video right now. Go click that top link to get access to my newest dating guide. This is exclusive content that I'm only giving to guys who've got this burning desire, so I'm not posting it to YouTube. I don't want the YouTube algorithm to promote it and then saturate what I'm teaching in there. If you're curious to learn some of the biggest secrets that I've used to be successful countless times in dating, go click that link right now.